so I'm not big on the pencil army. I get that Choco Pro doesn't take itself too seriously, and therefore I as a fan shouldn't take it all that seriously either, but the pencil army gimmick might be pushing it for me. It might even be too dumb for Choco Pro standards. My biggest gripe with the pencil army is the way Lulu wrestles. She's like the one friend that you let in on the thing you were doing despite having already established that thing and now she's kind of fucking it up. It's like when WWE had that first season of Southpaw Regional Wrestling and it was entertaining and then they had the next season where a bunch of other wrestlers wanted to get in on the joke and it just became super bloated. Southpaw Regional Wrestling Season 1 is far more superior to Season 2 because Season 1 just happened organically and without any outside influence fucking everything up. It's like when a meme goes viral for a minute because it was genuinely funny and then a social media platform beats it, beats it into the fucking ground and keeps his decaying carcass around long after it's been dead. See the damn meme from Friday and how Vine beat it to the fucking ground for as long as they did. When it comes to Lulu Pencil and the Pencil Army, I don't want her attempts at comedy and wrestling to bring the entire fucking show down with her. Granted, without being said and getting that off my chest, I don't hate her gimmick. It's just that her match here on this show, for example, didn't land. She's had better matches with the likes of Mace Ruga, but that's more of a credit to Mei as she is, from my point of view, the ace of Choco Pro without question. Lou's a fitting character and all, but I just worry that some of her stuff is going to bring down my enjoyment of the show like it did here. I remember back when I first decided to give Choco Pro a shot earlier this year, and she was involved with the first match that I've ever seen from the promotion, which led me to trashing the entire show and almost leaving a completely dismal first impression of whatever the hell Choco Pro was supposed to be. It was the Mesa Ruga match that came on afterwards in the main event that saved the promotion as a whole for me completely, and ever since then, Mesa Ruga has been the biggest highlight of Choco Pro outside of a few other things. The main event on Riho's Homecoming featuring the return of Riho to the Gato Move channel in a tag team match with a partner Yuna Mizumori taking on the best bros was what both saved and delivered what I've come to expect from Chaco Pro show so far. It's far more a credit to all of them that this show turned out as great as it did overall because the Pencil Army stuff that opened the show wasn't hitting whatsoever. Also, it was pretty funny that Riho came in and almost by accident just completely flamed everyone in the Rock, Paper, Scissors tournament at the, end of the, at the end of the show. She just seemed to be going along with the madness even though people like Yuna developed an entire story for herself over the fact that she couldn't win one chocolate. So to see her win without even trying was just like, of course that would happen. Joke's on me for expecting anything different. That being said, I do want to say before I sign off here that I'd probably buy a Lulu as a straight up heel based off of how I feel when I watch her do anything on the show. She doesn't need to curse anybody, just have her continue to be her and cheat her way into screwing over other wrestlers that I actually have a bit of reason to like on this show before maybe letting me warm up to the gimmick because right now, I'm not sure that I can stand it. Still, great show overall. The wrestling in the main event made up for whatever the opening match was going for and I'm looking forward to the next one. That's all.